Hey guys, and welcome to AFD TV. I'm Bree, and I'm here with Dr. Sam with America's Family Doctors. Today, I'll be asking Dr. Sam some of your questions. Thanks, Bree. I'm excited to answer our viewers' questions. Awesome. Now, first question, what are the best vitamins and supplements to take? That's a great question, and it, basically the answer is it depends. Uh, it depends on our age, our gender, our any nutritional deficiencies that each of us may have. Uh, some people are very deficient in B vitamins, and in that case they definitely need to take a B complex. Others are good absorbers, and a multivitamin is enough. Um, I'll tell you what I take, and I take a multivitamin every morning. I take two fish oil twice a day just to get the essential fatty acids. Uh, I do take an aspirin on occasion. I also take, uh, essentially that's it, you know, lots of uh, fruits and vegetables is, I would call it the best natural supplement to have. Mm -hmm. um, every once in a while I'll take a calcium pill, and then the biggest I definitely take is vitamin D. Mm -hmm. I take uh, 5,000 units a day. It's a small little capsule. It's very in inexpensive. Um, in my work, I'm indoors most of the time. If I was outside eight, nine hours a day, then I may not need it. However, mm -hmm. indoors, you know, most all of us are vitamin D deficient. So, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, in today's age, most people don't have the money to really get a dietitian and understand what they're putting in their bodies. So, it seems like, from what you're saying, multivitamin, vitamin D and fish oil Correct. are the three most essential and and the, the brand I buy is either the cheapest one uh -huh. you know the two for one at Walmart you know sometimes I may splurge and go to the GNC and get the Mega Man which I really do like that vitamin because it has not only the essential vitamins in there but it has a lot of other supplements that can help with athletic performance especially um, so I, I think uh, if there's any question on what vitamin to take I would try to go for age-appropriate vitamins or gender-appropriate vitamins. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for example, men over 50 vitamins is going to be different from women over 50. Um, younger women generally who are menstruating would, would need a vitamin with iron in there. Great. Well, take your vitamins, people. All right, Janice in Brentwood submitted this question through the AFD website. I have a 10-month-old and was wondering, at what age is it safe to start giving your children vitamins? That's a great question. Uh, for traditionally speaking, kids who are on formula, the formulas have the vitamins built in there. Uh, however, kids who are nursing, you know, do need a vitamin D drop every day, um, essentially about a thousand unit drop per day. Now, if you're in the northern climates uh, and you don't have much sun exposure, uh, vitamin D is extremely essential. Um, but even if you're in a southern climate, most of the time kids do stay indoors, mm -hmm. especially when it's 110 degrees outside, so you may not be getting the sun exposure either. Um, as far as my kids go, for the most part, once they're about three or, or four, you know, four, they took, uh, my kids take Flintstones, you know, or a gummy vitamin. They'll take uh, fish oil, mm -hmm. and they'll also take vitamin D drops mm -hmm. here and there. But for the most part, the best natural supplement is for them to eat healthy and let them grow up and play and have fun and, and, and ex, uh, explore, and that's how we all learn. Yeah, great. Now, is it all right for adults to take the Flintstones and the gummy vitamins? Because I really don't like the taste of them. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I, I, I mean, there's always going to be pros and cons to everything. Um, I personally take Flintstones, you know, and, uh, and uh, it's better than you know, nothing in my mind. Yeah. And uh, even for, you know, my wife uh, takes Flintstones when we had our, when she was pregnant with our kids, all she took was Flintstones because mm -hmm. she couldn't tolerate any other vitamins. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it, you know, she took two Flintstones instead of one <laughs> to keep her folic acid levels high. But, uh, but outside that, it worked, it worked just fine. Good. Well, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. So thanks so much, Dr. Sam. That's all the time that we have today, and we will see you all next time. Thanks. The preceding advice provided in this video is informational and strictly the opinions of Dr. Sam Yadrala and AFD Clinics. For a more accurate medical opinion of your personal health, please consult your primary care physician or visit one of AFD's clinics today.